Okay, now we are on the final section for the module build a suggestion box app. So now we are going to create reports and dashboards. All right. First thing we are going to create a tabular report. The second thing we are going to create a summary report and add a chart. Then we are going to put that chart onto a new dashboard. Okay. So we are going to dive in and start creating this. Also, we have discussed about report and dashboard in depth in the previous trailhead module, specifically about report and dashboard. I think it's about an hour or 45 minutes or something. So we are not going to discuss this in a in very in a very thorough explanation we are just going to create what is um, shown here and verify the challenge all right let's go ahead and dive in so first we are going to create a tabular report so if i go back to my playground go to reports here and create a new report. So which object are we going to create? Well, we are talking about suggestions. So it's the suggestions object. I'm going to choose the report type and continue. So we have this. So let's see on the instruction. And we have created that. Now enter status in the add column. So we want to see the status here, right? And number of days open. So we have the name, we want to add status and number of days open. So go to column here. I'm going to add status. Oopsie. Double click there. And then number of days, double click there. Now we have name, status, number of days open okay now what else do we need to do scroll down to make sure you're viewing only suggestion that still needs to be implemented so we are going to filter it out right and enter the status and not equal to implemented so we just want to see suggestions that has not been implemented yet. Okay. So filters over here and I'm going to add a filter status is not equal to implemented. So not implemented yet. I want to change this to all suggestions. All right. So we have no record because we haven't created any dummy test records. So it's fine if it's showing blank. Now we have to save the report and name the report this suggestion status of open suggestions. I'm going to go back here and save. Boom. There. I'm going to put this on maybe a public report. Let's see. Or just keep it as 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 it is in the private reports because the challenge doesn't ask us oh we do have to save it in the public reports all right so let's go back here and um let me just save as our properties and then here change the folder to the public reports and select and save now we're good if I go back here next up create a summary report and a report chart okay so now we are going to edit this and actually we're going to copy the current one that we have I've shown you this before as well I'm going to save as and then change the name to this one suggestions status of open suggestions report i'm going to copy that and put it there and take this out so it's going to create a new name see public reports as well and save and if i go back here 
Now we are going to um, group because we are going to make a chart. So in the group search, enter status and select status. So group by status here. And then next, save and run. Well, we won't be having much data, unfortunately. Even if I save and run, we got nothing here. <laughs> See? Because we got no suggestions. Well, let's make one. If I'm going to pop up a new one here, let me just pop up a new, a new tab and make a new suggestion that hasn't been implemented yet. So I'm going to go to my suggestion app, suggestion box, and make one, make one suggestion one, pick a category, it's new, and suggestion one, and new, suggestion suggestion two pick a category and new as well suggestion two okay i'm going to save this go back to my report and refresh this we should have something see suggestion one and two all right we get something at least now um we want to add a chart right add chart button here so we want to add a chart and add a chart to this report. We have a donut chart, okay? And then in the title, we have suggestion status. So go back here, add a chart. We want a donut chart, so click on the chart properties here. Donut, put title here, and then Value drop down, choose record count. Go back here. So, record count. Well, we have two new statuses there. And then, what else do we have to do? And just save it, right? That's it. And we can create a dashboard next. So, I'm going to close this one and save this one. So, we're done. I'm going to actually save, right? Now, next up, we are going to create a dashboard. We are going to make a new dashboard and we are going to name the dashboard um, Suggestions Dashboard, okay? Click there, Suggestion Dashboards. Put this also in a public dashboard. Do we have to put it on a public dashboard? And... Oh, it's a private dashboard folder, it's fine, see? So I'm gonna hit next or select the private dashboard and select folder and create. Now we have a blank canvas. I like blank canvas because we can create anything on it. So we wanna add a component, which is the suggestion by status report, okay? So I'm gonna click add component here and a suggestion by status, we have two suggestion status of open suggestions. I'll choose this one. Okay, select that one. And then suggestion by status. Which is the first one probably, right? Let me see here. The first one is... Um, when we save it, suggestion of open suggestions. The second one is the second one, right? So we have to rename that probably. Otherwise, our verification will fail. So I'm going to actually cancel this out and go back to my reports first. So this is exactly the same name, right? So I wanna change the newer one, which is this one here. If I'm going to edit this guy, this is the, with the donut chart, right? 
So the name has to be different then. I'm going to change the name. It actually has to be suggestion by status, this one. So good thing I, I, I see that. Boom. Okay. So now I'm going to save this. That's it. Now if I go back to my dashboard and suggestion dashboard, I can really add that one. I'm going to add it there and add a component which is this one. All right. Now it looks good. And what do we have? Donut. Let's see. So I scroll down and we are checking the instruction for the dashboard. Um, okay. Choose the donut chart and the value drop down there. Okay. So I'm going to choose the donut and this is record count and that's it. And I'm going to see, I'm going to just going to hit add there. There we have the record count. And the title is suggestion by status. I'm going to edit this guy. There suggestion by status without a colon. All right. And then I'm going to save. So we have one dashboard there and save. So now we want to check this out on a mobile. Same thing as before. We are going to copy it all the way until here. Make a new tab and then view developer, developer tools. Make sure this is responsive and this is 100% and I'm going to paste my link over there and then I'm going to click on the reports here and actually dashboards there's a suggestion dashboard it's loading boom pretty cool right so that's it we have done the whole suggestion box app Good job, guys. So now we're just going to verify and collect our last 100 points. So we're going to have an additional total of 500 points. I'll see you on the next module. And now here we are going to get a new shiny badge. Take a look at this. And three and two and one. Bada bing. And bada Boom! Woohoo! You've got a shiny new badge on your profile. Congratulations! I'll see you on the next module. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor. Like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word. Watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom.